War. War never changes. Except when it does. My name is Koifish and this is the second part in a five part series where I will be exploring the five different lifestyle focuses. In the last video I conquered all of Scandinavia using only diplomacy. Today we are doing martial and after that it is stewardship, intrigue and of course learning. And since today's video is martial we will be conquering from a lowly count all the way up to a massive empire. But to make it a challenge, I will be doing it in less than 25 years. Wow! In the last video, you guys were super helpful by liking and commenting on the video. It really does help to boost it in the algorithm and makes my video be seen by more people. Now less talking and more warfare. Let's get into it. To really show off what you can do with martial and warfare in this game, there is one character that is perfect for that. Count Hastings. He's a Norse Viking situated in France and he's the very embodiment of war. This man breathes in warfare and shits out strategy. We will be playing on normal and Iron Man mode because why not? If we're gonna do it, do it right. But before we start, a message from today's sponsor, Hero Wars. The online RPG action game with both PvP and PvE game modes. Fight against powerful bosses, power your way through the story campaign, and collect loot and upgrades for your champion. Hero Wars has over 50 unique heroes, each one with their unique abilities. Combine and collect different teams to battle in the arena, fight in the endless tower, or take the fight online. Create guilds, fight against other players, and rise up in the ranks. New players can click the link down below in the description or scan the QR code on screen to get a super chest with a secret hero, 62 emeralds and 30,000 gold. So this is a great time to check out the game. Hero Wars is available on mobile devices but also runs in your web browser. Scan my QR code or download the game from my link in the description. I'll see you guys in Hero Wars. Here we are in our tiny little county. We are Count Hasty. A lustful, ambitious man. He's gallant and he's a brilliant strategist. This character is probably the character that has the highest martial at the start of the game. With a whopping 28 to martial and 23 to prowess. Now there are two stats tied to warfare. Your martial score and your prowess. Your martial score is your general knowledge of war. It affects your levy size, how much reinforcement you get to said levy, and gives you an advantage when you're commanding armies in combat. Your prowess is your own fighting capability. This determines how good you are when you're fighting on the field and how well you will perform in duels. If he's leading the army, he's actually in there and fighting together with the levies. You take the prowess and add a zero behind it. That's how many levies this man fights as. By just having this man in the battle, he fights as 230 more. Let's take a look at the martial lifestyle perk trees. The martial lifestyle has three perk trees. Strategy, Authority and Chivalry. While all of the different trees are good in their own way, we are going to focus on Chivalry. Star Wars Leader is a great starting perk, as it reduces the risk of commanding your own armies. Chivalric Dominance, letting your knights fight more effectively. And of course King's Guard, giving us four more knights to play with. The other trees are Overseer, helping you control the areas you take. And Strategy, all around making your units more effective at fighting. Now that we know a bit about the perk tree, it is time to go to war. Our wife has really bad martial score, so let's divorce her and get a better one. Now to find a wife that is insane when it comes to martial. Already I see a perfect woman. Saga the truth speaker, Vitzek. Daughter of none other than Jan Horften Whitechurch. Honest, ambitious and patient. Exactly what you're looking for when it comes to a woman. That and she has insane martial score. Perfect, you shall marry me. We currently have 32 in martial score, but if we have our wife assist us in chivalry, we get a total of 39. That is a lot of martial score. There's another really good thing about playing Count Hasty, is that you start with 3000 viking warriors that are ready to help you win any war that you want. Sadly, these will stand down on succession. So to ensure that our son Ragnar Hastingsson gets a good future, let's start our conquest! Since Hastings starts off as exalted among men, with 2000 prestige, he can declare the Invade Kingdom War right away. The world is our oyster, and it's waiting to get chucked. How about a vacation in Spain? I am gonna fight against the Umayyads, because that feels like a really solid thing to do. Invade Kingdom, the Umayyad Sultanate. I'm going for it! I want to take over all of España. We are at war. That's what this video is about. Warfare. I call in my ally because of course Jan Halfdan wants to fight against the Spaniard. You can't fight a war alone. But we don't have to because we have knights. Like this viking, Björn, 
was 9 prowess, thus making him fight like 90 levies. Keep in mind though that we have a whopping 195 night effectiveness percentage increase. Let's raise the troops and we'll go for the capital. War is all about war score. We can gain war score by taking over territories within the war goal, by winning battles, and by taking prisoners that are important. If we capture the king himself, the war is over. You can't fight a war from inside a prison. When you're sieging like this, you don't have to have the entire army stacked. There's a button down here that lets you split off just enough troops to continue the siege. But splitting your army could be dangerous, as it leaves you weak for an enemy attack. So for this one, I'll keep my army together. I'm hoping that we get lucky and capture some sons here. Sons, daughters, and the heir especially, gives a lot of war score. Or, in this case, the Sultan himself. He was a coward, he didn't fight in the war, and look where he ended up. That's the thing about warfare, sometimes you just have to cut off the head of the snake. Let's take a look at what we got. Ah! Land! Once we're no longer at war, we shall make this our realm capital. But for now, the Duchy of Cordoba shall be our duchy. Now, I'm thinking I'm just gonna hold all of this. The rest I shall give away to my friends, my sons, but mostly my friends. Frothy, you're a great marshal man. In the north, I give you land. You, sir, shall become my marshal. We do have a prisoner here, whose son, you're a novice physician, but you know how it goes. We need to get that dread up and going. Through dread, we can control the area. And we have a daughter, rename her to Rungfrither. This woman will become a great learned woman. Just kidding, she's going to marshal as well. You're gonna become a mighty shield maiden. Now it's time to move our realm capital. Welcome to Cordoba, my friends. Now we raid a free source of income. It looks like the Umayyad Empire has sort of split, which isn't exactly good for them, but it's great for us when it comes to conquering. Let's raid close to home. By raiding the neighbors, you're making them weaker, making it easier for you to stay alive. Sell prisoners. A prisoner-based economy is a good economy. Oh, Peasant Revolt 1, rally the troops. And a son. Let's name him Toki. Nothing beats beating up peasants. I'm a just man, and I'm just gonna kill you. Thank you very much. And with the money we've gained from this, we shall form the kingdom of Andalusia. I am now King Hasty. But now, I'm thinking it's time to expand. Emir Hamdan, I could conquer his duchy. While I'm at it, this man is weak too. I shall conquer your duchy as well. Raise the armies. Splitting the army could be dangerous, but also really funny. Now continue! Go onwards to victory! Fight my war soldiers! Win my battles! The Battle of Motril! One of our valiant soldiers has managed to wound the enemy Faris! Our worst soldier is worth three of his commanders. We are truly the best when it comes to this fighting business. I have killed a lot of men, all of them slain in battle except for these women. Here it seems we have won the siege, won a battle, and we took the capital. And force demands, thank you very much. Our land has grown substantially. Now here you can see that we have no commander, which is really bad. These troops are used fighting as hard as they can. But what's this? My random troops are fighting hard enough to win! Good job, brave fighters! This war has seemingly gone very well. Mostly because we captured the man himself. We could ransom him. Take his land instead. It's way funnier. Land, land, land. They say we have a few champions, but the few champions we have are really strong. Let's conquer some duchies. These men are pitifully weak. So let's take them out. That is a lot of wars declared. I'm sitting around the map table with Duke Almundir and Count Froti. Discussing our strategy on the ongoing war. Almundir eagerly points out that all the prime targets we should immediately send raiding parties to. While Froti sits back and patiently advocates for us to secure critical locations. My insane martial skill lets me just tell, hey, why not both? Come on, fight them off. Who, who, who? Punch him! Kick him! Stab him in the stomach! War is over here. Why? Because we took the land. I see. I shall not question it. Land gain this land gain. Let's ransom a man. And two men that look oddly similar have ended the truce. Very good. Hold them off, gentlemen. We are Vikings and we do not yield. Oh, I love the smell of conquest in the morning. Another war done. Another sheet of added to our collection. Ragnar, my boy! You have come of age. I shall let you rule to your best ability. You didn't turn out as I wanted you to, but that's fine. With only 90 war score, we can still enforce demands. Ta-da! We fought a single man. Just one man on a field? Oh, a hard-fought battle? Ooh, 
That cost a lot of troops. But we gained the Duchy of Aragon. We have a lot of dread, but it could be higher. Now it's a good idea to leave some prisoners for your son. So when he takes over, you can let him execute them, thus giving him the dread. War, war? Who are you? No, no, no. I put down my foot. We purposely didn't invade you, knowing that you had the Frenchmen on your side. But we shall simply have to do it now. You forced our hand. We shall force you for land. Has he called in his ally? He has. Oh, this is terrifying. I could always call in my ally, if need be. If need be, be needed. Do not crush us, please. Oh, but we're turning the tide. It's not even, but I'm wounded. Will I give my life to this? To defeating the Frenchman once? Come on. This is all it's about to be! Rikskoti Hund! You lovely woman, you treated the wound! We are beating them back, come on! Oh, even more! Come on, keep fighting! Yes! We did it! We shall hold! Hold and be strong! And here comes our friend! Our long-lost Viking brother, Holsten White Church of Jorvik! His daughter has been at my side this whole time! Rule with an iron fist! And punch with the iron fist as well, it makes for a great weapon. No white fist yet, but here comes Holt and White Shirt. In full force he swings in. Oh, and with one fell strike, we have won this war. Back off, these lands belong to the Vikings. Now for a bit of a funny duel, for money. Oh, come on, fight me, fight me, sir. I'm old, but I'll fight. We take off our shirts. I am a big old man. You are a young small man. I pace around him in lazy half circles, each watching for an opening. I heft my sword, ready to defend myself, while he clutches his axe firmly. Freely cracks his neck and dies. No! Just kidding. He starts raining blows against my guard. Freelix managed to swing a vicious kick for my shin. Ah! My form is deteriorating fast, with numerous exploitable gaps. We swear by Freya's cat scum. Is, is that my motto? It is. Oh my god, we are garbage. I'll make a viking cruelty. No, I lose! As it transpires, killing terrified peasants at the head of an army is much easier than fighting a man in single combat. I yield! I'm wounded and I'm stressed out of my mind. Well, I'm, I'm going to the whorehouse and I'm drinking beer. No longer stressed, but really embarrassed. Local man literally kills all of France, but a single man in single combat, sorry fam, can't do that. Let's regain some of our lost glory by conquering some duchies. Give me Castile. Play them quickly. Beat them off easily. What is this? I captured the man himself? Let's just enforce the man. Easy. See how well fought I can be. To make Hispania, I need 500 gold more. Think you can hold on for a few more years? Haste in. King Charles is dead. That means that they don't have an alliance. Quickly win this war. Aha. Like that. Accept the bands? Let us take Galicia. I shall call in my old friend. Grey-haired and old. Jarl Holfden, you old fart. Come here. Come here. Crush him. I might be old and bad at duels, but in the open field, there is no one that can best me. Oh. This is it. I ransom him. He paid me a lot of money for it. We have won. We have taken Galicia. With my 500 gold, I form the Kingdom of Valencia. And with my remaining 1000, I become the Emperor of Hispania! I am Emperor Hastin! It has taken me less than 25 years. But through the power of warfare and martial skill, I have conquered my way from a lowly town up to a massive emperor. Now time to celebrate this by raising a runestone. How I ascended the throne to Hispania. Not again! This happened in the last time to raise my son banging his half sister! Crusader King 3 was filmed in front of us live studio audience. But that is gonna be it for this video. Conquering becomes super easy once you have 200% night effectiveness. And the higher your martial gets, the more more levels you have to play with. I hope you liked this video, if you did, leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next Crusader Kings guide. Until then, stay martial my dudes, yeet!